Hey there! Today I'm going to be doing a quick little mini haul of my Memorial Day shopping excursion purchases. Had a fun little time out at the outlets up, you know, about half an hour or so from my house and picked up quite a, quite a few good deals. Um, if you want to know more, please stick around. Hey there, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, if you're new here, my channel is all about treating yourself to a little bit of luxury, whether that be your cup of coffee, your favorite fragrance, skincare, handbags, shoes, accessories, anything that makes you feel a little bit better about yourself because you deserve it, you really do. And it just was Memorial Day. It literally was a time to you know rest recharge get some good deals and i did <laughs> i really um i was gonna go with my friend and she ended up canceling at the last minute so the spouse and i head up to the woodborne premium outlets not too far from our house and i was just i didn't really have anything in mind of you know what i wanted to buy but i just hadn't been in a while so i was just like checking things out so um went in a few stores and we found some deals. So, um, I won't show what he picked up because it's kind of boring. We needed some you know, slacks and you know, normal, uh, everyday kind of stuff. But I popped into a couple of stores and found some items and I'm actually quite, um, excited about a few of them. And I am going to start with something from Swarovski if I can find it. There it is. I didn't get a bat. We're in this, uh, I don't know, time where like every bag is 10 cents or what have you. <laughs> That's a huge amount of money, but it's just like at every store that you go to, it's like, do you need a bag? So at this point, I was just like, I don't need a bag. <laughs> so don't worry about it. Go ahead and leave, leave me be. Um, so I kind of want to kick myself because I should have picked something, a bag up because it's just Swarovski and they're, you know, they're, they're nice bags. But at that point I was just like, I've got five bags, just throw it in the bag, <laughs> just throw it in one of them. I don't care at this point. It was one little thing. Um, but had I to do it over again, I would have asked for the bag, but I did pick up a little something that had some really cute, um, items, not the best deals per se it's like everything that i thought was really really cute was only like 30 percent off so i was just like huh normally like you know everything's like 50 to 70 percent off this one was only um 40 percent off so you know not horrible but at the same time not great so i was kind of bummed about that but at the same time i thought that they were really cute so it was a pair of earrings and um, I've been wanting some Huggies for a while now. I've been trying to um, get a pair of just really nice um, work earrings that a um, little bit of bling, but still subtle that um, would look nice on camera for Zoom or if I go in the office, just something that is a little bit, a little bit of something, but not anything um, too over the top. Cause I, I have like some really big diamond hoops and you know, that just a little too dressy, I guess, for, for the situation. So I saw these and the regular price was, I think it was $59, six, $69. And, um, they ended up being like 40, I think it was in the end. And they were just, I thought they were really cute. They're tiny little things. And like I said, oh, there's bamboo. They're just, you know, a really cute little hoop. Um, and I believe they're rosed. Yes, they're rose, rose gold. I think we're all quick here and kind of put those up. And I didn't know that they had, um, I think it's a two year warranty on them. So that was, yes, rose gold. So pierced mini hoop rose. And I just thought those were really cute. I wanted them. Everything else seemed, there was a lot, a, a lot of really large 
gem cuts. There wasn't a whole lot of, um, you know, the really nice, um, faceted bejeweled stuff. It was like the really over the top. Um, not that there's anything wrong with that, but you know, for a certain occasion and nothing that really fit what I was looking for. Like even the Apple, there was an Apple watch, cute little watch face that was just like giant baguettes. And I'm not the biggest fan of a baguette cut myself, per, just my own, my opinion. But I was like, Oh, that might be nice for like, you know, occasionally going out, but it just didn't seem like the right, I don't know, the right fit for what I was looking for. And I felt the guy, poor, the poor gentleman in there were the only customers in there. And, um, he just kept wanting to help. And I'm just like, I just, I really don't know what I'm looking for. I'm just like, I'm kind of just like, when I see it, I'll see it. And lo and behold, finally, I'm like, I think these are, these are the ones. So, um, poor guy, <laughs> he's trying to be as helpful as can be, you know, just like, I'm just that kind of person. I don't, I don't need help until I need help. <laughs> so it's just like, I will, I will purchase. Don't worry about it. Just let me, let me roam and I will see it when I see it and make my, my selection. So anywho, um, so swatch we went into, I walked past coach and it was just like, no, um, took a couple pictures of some things and I saw the fruit collection just, I don't know. It just didn't, didn't speak to me. And I just was like, I'm not going to brave any of the crowds in there to go look at the shoes. And I love the shoes, but it just was like, I wasn't feeling it. So I walked, walked right past, um, nothing like that whole side of the, of the outlet just wasn't, wasn't feeling it. So we went over, um, to the opposite side, close to where we parked, went into, um, cosmetic company outlet and did some shopping there. Um, so yeah, definitely enjoyed. I have never seen so much Joe Malone and Tom Ford in the CCO at any given time that, that, and there was, uh, Frederick, Frederick Mall too, Portrait of a Lady, um, that, that fragrance, um, there was that and probably a dozen other of his fragrances, Tom Ford, there was, um, there was some lost cherry candles. There was Oud Wood. There was, um, a lot of the Oud scents, the Soleil Neige. Um, oh my God, there was just at least half a dozen, um, Tom Ford, lots of it and of all different sizes. Um, the perfumes, the sprays, candles, just a ton of it and the makeup too, just a ton of it. I'm just like, wow, that was amazing. It was like almost overwhelming. I'm like, Oh, I have, I, I can't, I have too much makeup. <laughs> I walk away and I have, I have enough Tom Ford right now that I'm just like, I'm not, I'm not splurging on any, um, any more fragrances from him right now, but Joe Malone, I can't, I can't not. So I ask, um, I saw tons of candles and I'm like, okay, no, I'm not going to do candles, but I did want a, um, diffuser refill and they didn't have any of the refills. So I said, well, what do you have in, in the diffusers? And she's like, well, we got this, this, and this. And I'm like, okay, well, can I smell those? I haven't smelled, um, those scents before and picked wild bluebell out. And she goes, well, let me go in the back and I'll go and, um, get you a new one. And as she went back there, she's like, oh, I found another one back there. Do you want to try it out? And I'm like, yeah, <laughs> of course. So, um, went back there and grabbed it brought me the little sticks um let me grab this out of course what kind of sucks about the outlets is they don't give you the really nice packaging unless it they have a bunch of them it pretty much comes um just out like this so this is this is the wild bluebell one or is this the other one i'm blind Silk Blossom. So Silk Blossom I had never smelled before and it just smelled really clean. Um, just a, a lovely creamy kind of scent. Um, just really liked that one. So pick that one up and then um, Wild Bluebell was the other one. And then um, there was this little, where are you? There you are. Travel. 
scent. Scent to go. And lime, basil, and mandarin. So, really good. Let's see what the... So the regular price of this is $58. I got it for $40. The diffusers are normally $105. Got it for $73. Um, for the silk one, $110 for Wild Blue Bear, $77. And then um, you got a gift with purchase if you spent over a certain dollar amount. So I was like, okay, what? And they're just random. I got a palette. So I'm just like, okay, I guess. I'm not really the biggest fan of Too Faced, but again, didn't need any makeup, but it was free. <laughs> so I'm not one to turn down a freebie. So we'll, we'll check it out. Not bad. A lot of neutrals. I'm sure I can get some use out of that. That or I'll pass it along to my friends. Oh, I didn't need to open it up. They had all the swatches there on the side. Whoops. And then they said, you also got this. It was Estee Lauder Nutritious Super Pomegranate Radiant Energy Moisture Cream. as a freebie. It's 1.7 ounce. So I was like, okay. Sounds like a, like a plan. I've never used um, this line. So always down for skincare. Most out of my Dior one, so just a little extra bonus. That's where else did we go? Walked into Mar Marc Jacobs, there was nothing in Marc Jacobs, which was depressing. Um, and then Tory Burch, I mean, there was some stuff in Tory Burch, but it's just nothing, nothing just caught my eye. And then, and then. And then I went to Ralph Lauren and Ralph Lauren, there was some stuff. I saw several things that I liked at Ralph Lauren. I ended up picking out one and I was influenced by, um, Dawn and she knows I've already texted her, <laughs> sent her a message saying, you did this to me. <laughs> you did this. <laughs> She got a different version. Her version is a, a very, a nicer version, a nice, um, lovely boutique version. And mine is of course from the outlet. So it's a, not as, as fancy, but I still think it's beautiful. And of course, while we were there, I had to get myself some Ralph Lauren, uh, Ralph's coffee. So, um, I was telling my husband about the Chicago trip and, um, how I really enjoyed the coffee that we got there. So I didn't know they sold it at the outlet, so I'm like, can we get some? Got this and really enjoyed it. So last but not least, I picked up a new bag. <laughs> and I don't believe I've ever really seen very many bags at, um, the, the this is a polo outlet. I think I've seen a few, but they're usually like tote bags and nothing that really seemed as nice as this. So this one, um, is, I believe a version of the Farrah bag, although the, the current version is a smooth leather. Um, and then they have like, a, a quilted one, I believe also on the website, but, um, this one's a pebbled leather one. So I'm assuming it's a several, um, season older one, the slip pocket down here on the back feet on the back there or on the bottom there, excuse me, little divider there. Nice, lovely gold hardware. Um, this just really caught my eye. It was actually the black one. And I'll, I'll insert some footage of me trying it on. Um, the black one is the one I, and of course I have so many black bags, but I'm always drawn to a black bag. So I tried the black one on and I really loved it, but it had some um, issues with the stitching right here and they didn't have another one in the back. So I was like, oh, okay, well that kind of sucks. But I like the, the the tan color here, or camel, I guess, tone. Um, and 
it just, I don't know, it just kind of spoke to me. The um, interior is quite roomy and it has a slip pocket in the front right here, the zip pocket in the back, center pocket as well. I mean, lots of room. Um, it just looks really nice. Strap is removable, so you don't have to have it as a crossbody. Um, and I also, I mean, this is not at the full length. I actually um, wasn't the biggest fan of how at this length, how it hit me. Um, so I have a strap that I bought from, I want to say it's Dress Up Your Purse. It might have been a different Etsy seller. Um, but I think I'm going to like more with it. It's a little bit more malleable. Um, so I, I know it's kind of odd to mix and use a different brand, but I just kind of felt like the strap wasn't, I didn't, I wasn't in love with the strap. So I almost didn't buy it because of the strap, but because I knew I had other ones at home and then when I tell you the price, that's what pretty much sealed the deal. So, um, they were 25% off and for signing up with your mobile phone, whatever for text coupons, another 15% off. So it was 325 25% off and then another 15. So I paid $209 for it. I thought it was real leather. I mean, I thought it was a really good deal. Um, I couldn't pass it. I just thought it was really, really nice. Um, I thought it was a good addition. It's the right tone of brown that's just it's a darker brown than the usual camel brown tones that I have um you know not quite you know LV brown just the right kind of you know brown and I just thought it would be a really good neutral and it's not black which is seems to be everything I buy is black bags so I just thought it would be a fun addition to the to the arsenal. What do you think? Thoughts? I love the hardware, I'm gonna tell you. I just like the little, just components of it. Everything seems to just really be, really thoughtfully done. So, I mean, this seems a little loud, but I like the, you know, subtle labeling back there. It just was a really nice, Nice look. So have you tried anything from Lauren Ralph Lauren? What do you think about the brand? Do you think I got a good deal? Do you think I should, I mean, one of the few stores that lets you return. So the outlets, a lot of them are like all sales final. This is one of the few stores that does let you return. So I could technically um, take it back. There were some shoes that looked great as well. They had some lovely card holders, a wallet on a chain that was really pretty. Um, so there was a lot of stuff I was considering, but this one just really spoke to me. Um, I don't know. I'm interested to see what your thoughts are. So let me know down below. So what do you think of my haul? Do you think I did a, a good job with my shopping? I don't know. I think I did. Hope you had a good holiday. Hope the start of summer is good for you and I will talk to you soon. Take care.